I'm going to come back to you for what the solutions might be, which I'm get, I'm suggesting might be community and making sure that the company's local, hire local, but we'll come back to that. I, I want to ask a question for our audience about you all are leaders. How do you lead innovation? What's the one thing that you do, Chris Gates, to lead innovation? What's your advice to our, our audience members who want to be leaders? How do you lead innovation? Yeah, I, I think it starts with, you know, there, the, you got to be curious, right? You got, you got, you got to know that um, innovation is, innovation is changing on a regular basis. You, you got to be looking for the disruptors. You got to be able to, to articulate it in such a way where you're solving a problem. It's not technology for technology uh, sake uh, uh, for, for, for it to be effective. And I think you need to spend time in, in, in our world when we are in the technology side of the house for, for some of us on the, the panel um, we can't take for granted the people we're talking to understand what technology can and cannot do, right? So we, we've got to take the time to educate them as well. And we've all grown up historically with understanding what IQ is from an intelligent quotient standpoint or, or even EQ from an emotional standpoint. Are you aware of somebody's feelings? There, there's an emerging topic around TQ, technology acumen. Do, do the people that you're working with understand the art of the possible from a technology standpoint? And if so, can they apply it to the problems that they see on a day-to-day -day basis? Because I may be very proficient in, in technology, but, but I, I've, I've never been to a currency exchange. I don't know how technology may or may not be able to help you know, in, in, in that situation. Having an intelligent conversation with Jamal around what, what I see in other industries, there may be some innovation there that, that, that we're missing because we're not in the same conversation. Well said. Jamal, I wanted to go to you as a leader you know, what, what, what's your advice to others who want to lead innovation and change? I would just say that when you have an idea and you have a, a team around you, present your idea. And then this is the hard part. When you start getting the, the feedback back, just say, hey, you know what? Next week, talk to me about it. Because right now I can't like, you have to, because because that'll mess up your whole energy. You know, it's taking so much negativity in. It's like, I've learned to not get upset. You ain't messing up my mode. This is what I want to just do what I asked you to do now. And then next week, I promise you, I'll find time to like get the feedback. But right now, let's go off for it. I think that little simple tri trick will help you uh, um, be a better leader. Well said. Well said. Abdul, what, what do you uh, recommend for others who want to be leaders of innovation? Yeah, I think, I think it comes down to uh, a lot of what Jamal and, and Chris mentioned. It's, it's uh, having the passion um, believing in something or, or having the passion to want to fix a problem that you see or improve something that you, you think can be improved and, and uh, deliver, uh, you know, something to, to a community that, that is, you know, isn't there today. And then collaboration with people that can help you, right? I think, you know, the most successful companies are always established by at least two people. <laughs> There's always co-founders, right? And sometimes more, sometimes three, sometimes five. So, you know, don't go at it alone. Go at it with a team of people that can actually um, help you um, see things you're not seeing, bring points of views that you may not be thinking about, they essentially make you better, right? Surround yourself with people that make you better. Um, so. Well said. Uh, Phyllis, what's your leadership of innovation guidance to our, our group today? Yeah, I mean, I think in addition to the great comments, um, you know, I think it's important as a leader to create an inclusive problem solving environment, um, you know, to, to, to ensure that you're including diverse perspectives because everyone brings a different lens. Um, and it's really important to cultivate that and to make it safe to fail quickly <laughs> and learn from it. Well said. All right.